Welcome to January's Linko Challenge. Today's problem is merge two sorted lists. Merge two sorted linked lists and return it as a sorted list. The list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. We're given two linked lists here and they're going to be sorted and we want to merge them together to return a single sorted linked list. Now the way that we solve this is by having two pointers and uh, basically creating a new uh, linked list by traveling down both of these two lists and whenever we find that one is less than the other one we add that to the <coughs> uh, output array and then move the pointer ahead and then continue that loop uh, to compare which one is less than the other. Uh, once we reach the end of one we just add the remainder of the other list into that output array and that's it. So to do this what I'm going to do is create a dummy node and the output and we're just going to make this a list node that's empty and the reason we need two is this dummy node is going to point to the head while the output is going to be like the current node that we're pointed on. So while there's both the L1 and L2, uh, we want to check to see which one is greater, right? So, or which one is less rather. So if L1.value is less than L2.value, then we want to add this L1 uh, to our output. So what we'll do is say, okay, output.next is equal to L1, and then we move ahead our uh, L1 to the next one, L1.next. Now, otherwise, we're going to add L, L2 to the next. So up in that next equals L2, and then we move ahead our L2 to the next. And make sure we move ahead our current pointer. Uh, output is now equal to output.next. Now, once we're out of this loop, we just need to add the remainder of what remains to our output. So if L1 remains, then we'll add that to output.next. Output next equals L1. Otherwise, if L2, then output.next equals L2. Finally, we just return the dummy.next, which is the head. So let's go ahead and submit that. Um, see if this works. Looks like it did. All right, and accepted. So this uh, is going to be a O of N time complexity. And I believe it's the uh, optimal one. Uh, there, there are other ways you could do it, but you know, this is kind of the generally accepted way. So, all right. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.